I'm back home <laughs> post a lovely weekend in Scotland. decided to go and do the UCI gravel race. So it's like the first UCI gravel race in the UK. It was quite long, so it was longer than the King's Cup, which I did back in the 2021. So I thought that'd be better for me, because I figured like longer, my endurance will come into it. And yeah, still didn't look too technical. So that was my other <laughs> thing of make sure it's not too technical. So we traveled up on Thursday, had a little look at the course on Friday, and then the race was Saturday and yeah like the weather was perfect it was like slightly overcast but nice and warm but not too hot which is a good thing so the feed stations were all like self-service like you had to like actually stop and pick stuff up so like it not being too hot was good from a racing perspective i managed to get one of the sort of preferred starts so i managed to start like right at the front which is quite cool with like some of the proper cyclists people like tiffany cromwell which yeah felt I felt a little bit out of place <laughs> but I was like at least I'm in a good place to start and the start of the race was basically like a 6k climb so I knew that first bit was going to be really really hard and it was really hard I think I was probably over like 300 watts for about eight minutes of like just full gas up the climb but got myself into a really good position like I was at the front and there's a bit on the first bit of the climb where it kind of descends a little bit before climbing again and there's like a sharp right hand corner which I basically got a bit excited and forgot how to corner <laughs> so kind of rather than take anyone else out sort of just went straight off the side <laughs> had to like unclip get myself back into it so I was like pretty annoyed at myself because if I just slowed down a little bit and remembered how to corner I would have been fine but anyway got myself back on chased back up to one of the chase groups and then managed to actually properly fall off on the <laughs> on the sharp left hand corner which I actually think I just hit a rock slightly awkwardly because I wasn't going very fast at that point having already crashed I was trying to be cautious so I managed to like properly fall off there but again got back up all fine I then had to stop and properly unscrew my bottle cage because one of the bolts had come out so it was then clanging onto my chain ring which obviously I couldn't ride like that so that it was probably like another minute of faffing about and then I was like right just <laughs> get yourself back in the game now went really hard for probably like 15 minutes managed to catch back onto I think they were like the second chase group and then we were all working quite nicely together and we managed to catch the sort of I think they were like the second group on the road I think Tiffany by that point had already broken away around like 30k we were then like an all in this nice little group of about seven eight of us working quite nicely I was like this is perfect like I'm back in the race and get over those silly mistakes now and just <laughs> concentrate and then I got a puncher didn't have any stuff with me because basically decided it's a race if I get a puncher it's kind of game over and they had tech boxes like every five to ten k so I was like it won't be that far to get although you obviously then forget that when you're walking because you can't ride because you've got enough of a puncher and the gravel's like properly chunky gravel a lot of it so you can't really just ride through on no pressure. 5k is quite a long way to walk <laughs> but I managed to kind of like scoot a little bit, walk a little bit. I then found a lady that had also punctured but had damaged her rim who lent me a canister to kind of get a bit more pressure to try and get to a tech box. Got to a tech box, managed to get a couple more canisters, get the tyre up and going a little bit. Obviously hadn't fixed it properly so I thought by this point the sealant would have kicked in and it kind of didn't really because the slit was in my sidewall. So then sort of managed to again do a bit of scooting, a bit of walking to get to the second feed station at sort of 60k and they had like more mechanic -y stuff so I was a bit like okay you know I think we either need to change the tyre, put some plugs in, like, I've never put plugs in in my life but that's what people told me I needed to do. The guy there helping 
had about as much idea of how to do mechanics as me. So between the two of us, <laughs> we spent about 20 minutes getting eaten by midges, because it was like super midgy, faffing about with this wheel. But obviously at this point I was like, I just want to be able to actually ride and finish, because it was like the scenery was amazing, and like the gravel, we literally had 10K of this 113K route that was on road, like the rest of it was all gravel, which is really cool. And you're just up in the middle of nowhere, like in these like Scottish highlands, I don't know if they're highlands, but whatever, they, like they have mountains <laughs> and just, yeah, amazing scenery. So finally managed to sort that out. And then I was like, I'm still going to ride hard because I wanted this to be like a hard day out. And I actually had really good legs. So I was like, I'm just going to keep pushing, work hard. And it was actually quite fun because I just kept sort of catching people. Um, I helped a couple of other people that I saw stuck on the side because I was like, given that my day is over, I might as well lend some canisters and help other people out. Then managed to just get through the rest of it, enjoy it. And it was just a really fun, really fun day out. Like definitely want to do some more. I think some of those longer gravel races, I reckon could actually be quite good if like, again, as long as it's, <laughs> as long as I remember how to corner and maybe find tires that I don't know if it's necessarily the tyres, like maybe it's a combination of tyres and sealant. But anyway, any big gravel enthusiasts over there, if you've got tips on tyre sealant combination, let me know. Yeah, the race itself, really good. Route, as I said, epic, like just, they've just got so much gravel up there and it was all like non-technical, kind of like double track, what like two super technical bits that I crashed on. No, completely my own fault. There was nothing technical. <laughs> I can't even blame it on that. Just really good. And again, like the, they had these like little tech boxes full of spares, because I reckon like 50% of people at least punctured, because that Scottish gravel is kind of quite flinty and sharp. So I think if you just catch the wrong bit, there's not much you can do. So yeah, lo there was like 1200 people doing it. So like loads of people had like a really nice sort of vibe and it's just like a really nice place like the people were really friendly where we were staying was amazing like we had this we were like on this farm maybe 20 minutes away but like they were so accommodating we turned back up post race obviously me sort of like half covered in blood and they're like do you need some help the host then basically spent five minutes getting gravel out of all of my cards <laughs> patching me up and gave me a beer so yeah Anyone looking for somewhere nice to stay in Scotland, let me know because this place was brilliant. But yeah, just generally really good. Would like highly recommend it. Definitely keen to do it again next year. It's good fun. Yeah, I hopefully do some more this season. It's just fitting them in around triathlons. But yeah, I think like there's so many out there. I actually started looking the other day and there's like loads. Like basically every weekend I could probably go do a gravel race if I wanted. It's just factoring in. Obviously most of them don't have prize money, so it's a kind of a costly way of going and having some fun training rides. Really keen to do more. I think unfortunately the world champs is just poor Kona, so that's kind of no point really trying to do that. But yeah, I think maybe some like late season ones and maybe a couple more in the mid season as I'm sort of rehabbing the cough. 